Hey guys, well, it finally happened. The channel hit a thousand subscribers and I, I am unbelievably excited. Like you don't even know, I am just, when I found out I was out of state, I couldn't make a video right away. I wanted to make a video right away, but I was, I don't know if I was in Mississippi or North Carolina, but I was somewhere far away from here. And, and so I didn't do it right away, but I am, I am just, I'm so happy. I'm, I appreciate you guys so much. Each and every one of you. I just, I, I I'm so thankful. I didn't expect the channel to be, you know, anywhere near as popular as this, as it's becoming, which I mean, it isn't super popular or anything. I only have like a thousand subscribers, but, but, but I mean, to me, for someone that wasn't trying to make a YouTube channel, that is just amazing. It blows my mind. It absolutely does. Like, like, I mean, I didn't expect any of this. And, uh, I guess for the, the thousand subscriber video, what I'm gonna do, I was trying to think of something special I could do. I guess what I can do is is just talk to you guys about the channel because I've never really done that before. I've never really addressed what kind of videos I plan on doing or the history of the channel or anything. So that's what I I guess I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna tell you the you know maybe a short history, uh, why I put up some videos, why I don't put up other ones, why I don't produce uh, different content, and and you know maybe the future of the channel. So, well. I like the story of this channel. It, it's kind of interesting to me because this isn't my original YouTube channel. My other YouTube channel is just one that I use to watch videos and my favorites, my likes, my playlists, and it's got a few random videos that I make to to show friends and family, like a, a, a minute long video of something I did in a video game or something stupid like that or something like when I go to New York and I film something on an aircraft carrier it's, it's it's nothing that you'd really find interesting just something i show my family my mom people like that well when the e-revo came out i took a lot of really cool shots of it and i i put it all in a video and put it on my channel and then i noticed that everyone was having issues with the uh the shocks breaking and no one really knew why so what i did was i made a video talking about why i thought it was why, why i thought it was happening and I, uh, I put it up on my channel and all of a sudden I have like, like 5,000 views and I'm like, oh, people want to see what I did. I was kind of confused by it. I said, well, if, if I'm going to make a YouTube channel or have a lot of views, I want to have a dedicated channel that isn't tied to my, my personal channel. So that's when I made Outsourced RC and I put those videos up on there. You can see them there, like my first two or three videos. And I really wasn't trying to make content for a YouTube channel. I was just trying to make a video, you know, throwing out this idea. And so I started, you know, making more and more videos and I started getting more and more views and more and more subscribers. And, you know, I remember when I hit 25 subscribers, I was like, 25 people want to see my stuff? I was, I was blown away by it. And, and now I'm at like a thousand subscribers and it's just crazy to me. It really is absolutely nuts that, that people would watch my stuff. So, well, that's, that's, you know, how the channel got started. Now, uh, I guess what, uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna talk about uh, why I put some videos up and not others. So the, the content I wanna produce is, is things that people want to see that's educational in some way or that shows you something that you don't normally see. I, I don't like videos where people just swap out, like, hey guys, I'm gonna swap out an axle, a bumper, and, and put some new tires on my RC, and that's gonna be the whole video of today. And I'm like, that feels like filler content to me. It, I guess it's cool if you wanna see people do that. I mean, maybe you like the personality of, of the person that's doing it, and, and that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that, but that's not content that I wanna put out. Whenever I'm just repairing RCs or doing something like that, I just wanna do it by myself, not distracted by the camera or anything like that. I just want to enjoy it. And I don't really like doing bashing videos. There's just plenty of people out there that have bashing videos where they just run their RC all over the time, and that's, that, that's great. If that's what you wanna see, fantastic that's not really what I want to put on my channel because I don't really enjoy filming and bashing at the same time it, it, it's, it's very difficult for a lot of people It's very distracting you don't really remember the moment it, it, it's, it's kind of like the same if you go to somewhere on vacation and you take a video of pictures of everything and you don't really remember the experience you just kind of have all these pictures and you were really focused on taking pictures and videos the whole time and you didn't enjoy what you were doing so anytime I go on vacation I just sometimes I just put my camera down I just like experience it and and I'm just you know in the moment and that's how I like to to drive my RCs. I like to really experience that and not have to be worried about, am I getting the right shot, the right camera angle, is is the, the lighting good? I don't, that's not that's not fun for me. So that's, that's why I don't put that kind of content on my channel. Not that there's anything wrong with it, it's not. 
but that's not the kind of stuff I want to do. And uh, I guess uh, going forward, the kind of content I want to do, I, I really liked smashing those pumpkins with that Erevo. And I like doing dangerous things with my RCs or, or experimenting. I have several, several ideas of things I want to just take my, my Erevo and just smash it into to see what happens. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to know. And I, I like that kind of stuff when other channels do it. That's not RC related. And I think I will enjoy that you know, you know, myself, if I see other RCs doing that, there's some channels that take like Lego, they take like a Lego set and put together like a Lego Porsche and they'll, they'll smash it into a million pieces and it's, it's really cool to see. And so I think that would be interesting to do with RC cars. And uh, well, winter time is coming up. Well, it's, you know, almost here, fall is here now. And this is a season where you don't really get a lot of uh, runtime out of RCs because they're plastic, the cold makes them brittle, and they break. I know they can't take what I want to do to them <laughs> in this kind of weather, so that's uh, I won't be doing a whole lot of that probably. But um, I also have a lot of things I need to do around the house. I have got so much stuff to do. Like we took all day yesterday to trim out all this and clean all this out. And so we need to uh, do a lot of landscaping also on the island and everything. And we have a lot of stuff like that that we want to do. And so that's been taking up a lot of my time. We, uh, I also have, I have got so much work to do in my backyard, like you don't even know. My backyard is just forced. Yeah, all this back here, this, this is all, this is all mine. As you can see, it's, it's really, really grown up. And I want to put an RC track back here, but I got to clear all this out. And you clear this out in the winter time that's the best time to really do this well the fall the winter time because for one there's not a burn ban going on so i can burn things but also all the green stuff kind of dies and goes away and as you can see i have a track back here and uh, it goes up through here i clear all this out and it, it winds around these trees and stuff and i i used to come back here and race my uh stampedes and stuff back here it's, it's too small for your rebos or what have you but all this other stuff i want to clear out and uh, that stuff takes a lot of time. It took me, I don't know, I was working, <laughs> I was working back here like it was a full-time job trying to clear all this out. And that's, that's what I want to do. I want to uh, uh, make an area so that I can do some crawling videos and do some crawling, uh, put some crawling courses up. I want to build a crawling track back here, a crawling course with rocks and, and bridges and, and like a river with a pump pumping water and everything. I've got a, a lot of big plans for what I want to do back here and it takes it takes a lot of time I'm kind of doing it by myself so I uh <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be so much work <laughs> and uh hopefully I have enough space though to put like a really decent track back there that's what I want to do a track that's big enough for the Erevo and the X-Max but that's gonna take so much of my time so I don't know you know what kind of videos I'll have time to to produce you know during the winter time and I don't know what kind of stuff I can do with RC cars without breaking them from them being brittle in the cold so, but I'll, I'll do what I can. I do what I can. I try to post a video every week. I don't know if I can keep up with that schedule. Man, someone's shooting back here. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if I can keep up with that kind of schedule uh, during the winter time. I'm going to try to. I have a lot of video ideas that I'm going to do, and I'll put those out for you guys. But uh, I guess that's all I really got to say for today. I just want to say again, I, I, I appreciate you guys so much. I mean, you you do not know how unexpected all this is for me i i i just i can't thank you guys enough i really appreciate it and uh i guess that's gonna be it for today guys i, I appreciate you guys for watching uh i appreciate you for subscribing for liking it really means the world to me and i, I hope you guys have a fantastic day